All right, all right. Welcome to another episode of the Song of Socials. Today we're here with three extremely talented marketers from uh, three of our New England Spectre managed venues. Um, we have Bill here from the port uh, from Portland, but with the Cross Insurance Arena. We have Erica from the Ryan Center at, uh, down in Kingston, Rhode Island, and we have Yaz from the XL Center in Hartford, Connecticut. Well, first of all, guys, welcome, and uh, thanks for everybody for being here. Yeah, thanks, Alex. Yeah, uh, thanks. Great. It's gonna be we're fun. Gonna hopefully, yeah. We're going to hopefully have some fun here. Uh, we're, today we're going to switch it up a little bit, not do our normal conversations that we do on these things, but we're going to play a little trivia. So it should be good. But uh, before we get started, I'm going to let you guys kind of each introduce yourselves, um, your building, and I'm going to throw you, put you on the spot a little bit and tell us what meal you guys have been crushing uh, during quarantine. I know for my household, it's been tacos. We've uh, been eating a ton of tacos. So uh, Erica, why don't you go ahead and start? Um, hi, my name is Erica Scubas. I'm the marketing manager at the Ryan Center in Basai Serena in uh, Kingston, Rhode Island. Um, I've absolutely been crushing pizza lately. I found this like brick oven pizza place that makes amazing uh, food. So yeah, that's my uh, go-to food lately. Awesome. Uh, how about you, Bill? Uh, hi, my name is Bill, the director of marketing at the Cross Arena in Portland, Maine. Um, and I think outside of the uh, oven uh, frozen pizzas uh, that I've been crushing. Uh, I've been trying these uh, great uh, tacos as well down the street. There's a taco place that I can't get enough of, and that's uh, that's about that. Awesome. What about you guys? Um, I'm Yasmin. I am the director of marketing here in Hartford, Connecticut, at the XL Center and Pratt & Whitney Stadium. Um, the meal I've been crushing... Uh, for some reason, chicken tenders, and I like hoard Chick-fil-A sauce from the restaurant, <laughs> so I have it at my house at all times, which is kind of embarrassing to admit, but yeah, chicken tenders and um, weirdly turkey burgers. I like to grill turkey burgers. Yeah. Uh, we actually got an air fryer in our house, so uh, we make our own chicken tenders these days. Yeah. Two little kids. This is what you do. That's amazing. <laughs> So guys, here we're gonna have, uh, like I said, play a little trivia. We got five questions. Um, so kind of think of a Final Jeopardy style. So basically, we'll just have you guys, as I ask the question, kind of write down your answer. I'll call on you, and then you'll just kind of hold up your piece of paper or whiteboard that has your answer, and we'll uh, keep score. In the event of a tie, we do have a tiebreaker, uh, which will be, uh, if we get to that point, it'll be a uh, Price is Right style, uh, closest without going over. So. <laughs> Hopefully we're going to have a little fun, but I'll, I guess if you guys are ready, let's get started. All right. Question number one. Dr. James Naismith invented this in Springfield in 1891. Wait, you said we were going to get this right <laughs> away? <laughs> I have a guess that I hope I'm right, and I think I should be Oh, wrong. no. Can you repeat the question? <laughs> of course, yes. <laughs> Dr. James Naismith invented blank in Springfield, Massachusetts in 1891. Oh, this my goodness. Erica practically lived in Springfield. I have no idea. Should I know this? And uh, I'll tell you the fun fact after we answer it. I don't know. Again, it could, I am just totally guessing on my answer, so I'm either way off or I'm spot on. I'm going to be way off and I'm going to be so embarrassed. All right. I could be wrong too, so you know. Are you ready, guys? You got an answer? I yes. go first. No, I'll make Bill go first, but I'm just gonna make sure you have an answer. I do, but it's probably very wrong. All right, go ahead, Bill. Is it? It is basketball. Oh, whoop! The, the doctor thing threw me off. I wasn't sure about that. I am so off, it's embarrassing. Oh, <laughs> yes, mean, I think you have to go next. I want to see what this answer is. I don't know why this is what came to my head, but. <laughs> <laughs> he did not invent the gun. <laughs> uh, his Erica, last name just have... sounded like a, a gun. Erica is basketball, all right. So we got why is that points. obvious? You said that was obvious. Uh... It's a pretty well known <laughs> fact. Oh, is well, it? I think the doctor thing threw me off. I was like, I didn't know it was a doctor. I just knew the sport was invented in Springfield. All right. Well, well you guys are all... I also don't like basketball, so I guess I wouldn't really know. That's right. right. So, 
Question number two is more kind of in our industry here. So this one, hopefully, yeah, as you get back on the board. Well. Uh, this Boston-based boy band had three number one songs on the Billboard Hot 100 in the late 80s, early 90s. Shoot, I do know it's on top. Oh, no. A Boston-based bo uh, boy band? Boston-based boy band. Early 80s, late 90s. Shoot, why can't I think of the name? Um, hmm. Remember to write your answers down, not say them out loud. Oh, wait, give me a second on this one because I know what it is and I just can't, like, think of what... Although, I don't consider this a boy band, but... Um... Oh. Interesting. That's probably a fair enough guess. Oh my god, I hope this is right. Could you imagine? I've just got so excited and it's absolutely wrong. <laughs> uh, Eric, are you good? I'm good. Sorry, I was just... Yep, yeah, I'm good. Alright, why don't you lead us off? Uh, New Kids on the Block? Yes. <sighs> Possibly, maybe? What do you have, Yaz? No. New Kids! Bill? <laughs> well, I would like to practice this when I said it's not a boy band, so... <laughs> <laughs> That's correct. Aerosmith is not a boy band. I had to get oh. the timing at least. I should. All right, all right. <laughs> Eric Smith is definitely not. We've got to stump Erica. She's killing it. Was that the right answer? New, sorry, New Kids on the Block was the right answer. I was too busy yelling, laughing at Bill's guests to uh, get the answer. All I could keep saying in my head was Marky Mark, and I was like, no, he was one person. What is his brother's band's name? And I just couldn't think of it. Okay, question number three. Basketball. In what <laughs> New England city and state did the band Fish form? Oh, really? I had no idea. New England? New England. Oh, no. I think, uh, uh, I'll give a little hint. I'll just think about what type of band and uh, the following that Fish uh, has might yeah. hopefully help you. I'm not sure if the city's right, but... Me neither. I don't know if any of this is right, but... All right, Bill's done. Yeah, you're good. Eric, are you good? Yeah. All right, why don't we go uh, Bill first? Oh, <gasps> that's what I said. Not what I said. What do you got, Yes. Burlington, Vermont as well. Erica? I got Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Burlington, Vermont is the uh, correct one. That's right? Wow. That is it's I a tie game. Burlington. Wow, you guys are uh, apparently two out of three on every one of these here. So I'm uh, curious to hear this. So, yeah, tiebreakers come in. So uh, right now through three questions, everybody has uh, two points. As we come into question number four, on the, is uh, Bangor, Maine is home to the Cross Insurance Center as well as the home to this horror this horror story author. I, I said that terribly, so if anybody needs me to repeat it, let me know. All right, uh, yes, you, uh, you wrote quickly, so we'll go with you. <laughs> no points for spelling, so either way. What about you, Erica? I uh, think it's PH, but... <laughs> Bill? Boom, three for three. We might have a three-way tie going into this. I guess so. Do we win a million dollars? You win a million dollars in some Song Center swag as well. Love that. Wow, oh, that's legit now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a million dollars to give you. All the swag and coasters you do could you have. Any, do you have any Lock Monster swag? I have one piece in my office. <laughs> He's not parting with it. All right. We're uh, tied at three through four questions. Uh, question number five, where I will say, I'm guessing it's probably going to be the hardest. But Oh, man. Grace Potter has collaborated with Kenny Chesney on a few songs, one being You and Tequila. What New England state does Grace Potter hail from? Oh, God. Hey. Oh, man. A one out of six chance, huh? This is true. At least it was a multiple choice, kind of. 
Oh, this is such a guess. I literally I... have no idea. Cool. Uh, Erica, why don't you go first? Vermont. Could be. What do you think, Yaz? New Hampshire. And Bill? Ooh. I didn't Ooh. think it was going to happen this easily. We have a winner. Oh. Is fact, it is Vermont. Oh, wow. Wow. Man. I totally guessed that. <laughs> it's it's from Vermont. I wasn't sure you were going to go with two Vermont answers. So. Playing the odds. I like your style. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't had a New Hampshire one yet, so that's where I went. That's why I did it too, Bill. <laughs> mm. Massachusetts seemed too, uh, too obvious. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely, guys. Well, oh, there, you go. there we go. Erica is our big champion. Erica, any uh, parting words you want to give us? Any what? Words of any advice? Part yeah, party party words. Words. Uh, no parting words. Just, you know, enjoy the summer, guys. And I can't wait to see everybody in soon when we have concerts and events. So hopefully uh, soon. I think we can all get on board with that. All right, guys. Thanks for joining us here on uh, today's Song of Socials. Uh, have a great uh, rest of the week. Thanks. Thanks, Alex. Bye.